Hello everyone, I want to do a little video to show you a bunch of things about the Range Rover Sport that you might not know uh, it can do. So we'll get straight into it. First of all, we've got the automatic wing mirror um, opening and closing. You press these two buttons here together and it folds the wing mirrors. You press it again and it unfolds them. So again, to do that, you just press the L and the R together if my camera wakes up and then that will auto fold your wing mirrors. That's good if you're trying to get in and out of like small spaces. Uh, next is how to make your wing mirrors angle down when you're reversing. It's quite useful if you've got um, big wheels. I've got 22s on mine and they're a nightmare for trying to um, not curb when you're parking really close to the curb. So to do that what you want to do is put it in reverse. When it's in reverse look my wing mirrors automatically go down. And the reason for that is because when you're in reverse, you can then use your L and R and your little joystick here to, uh, let me shut that up, to um, set the angle that you want. And the most important thing is it needs to be in reverse when you're doing it. So when you're setting the angles, you keep your car in reverse. And then when you change back into drive or park, it will go uh, back to the original position. And that's the same um, with both wing mirrors. You can set them independently. So again, that one points down so I can see the roughly where the wheel is in relation to the curb. And then when I put it forwards again, it goes back up to the original position. So that is uh, the second little useful thing that you might not know that your Range Rover could do. Uh, next, there's been a lot of people that don't know how to make the vents work in the back. That's, if I can show you down here. It's a bit dark, but yeah, there's, there's two vents. These ones here. And a lot of people say that they can't figure out how to make them work. Uh, to make them work, it's very easy. You just need to have pressed this button here. Once that's lit up, the rear vents will work. So you've got kids or passengers in the back and you can cook them or let them cool down um, you need to be pressing that one to activate the ones in the back now whilst you're on the topic of um, stuff in the rear I can show you down here there's this you open that if I can get my fingers on it and the camera wants to focus fumbling around come on oh there we go so under here I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. Is your auxiliary connector. Most people haven't got a clue where that is. So if you want to plug your phone in and listen to Spotify, um, you can't Bluetooth uh, stream in these cars. You can plug your uh, little auxiliary cable into there and then um, your phone will play through the auxiliary uh, input on the dash. So you've got that. And also whilst we're in here in the back, a lot of people didn't know that down here, you see is your uh, your cup holders you've got two cup holders that fold in uh, out of the way so that's another little useful thing that you might not have known about your rangey um, okay so something else a lot of people know um, about this bird you'd be surprised a lot of people don't you've got your glove box Woohoo! but did you know you've got a secret snack box up here too as well so a lot of wives don't know about this and keep this secret because you can store probably about maybe 15, 20 chocolate bars in there and the wife need never know about that. She only needs to know about this one down here. That's where the glove compartment is. This is secret snack compartment. Nobody knows about that. It's our little secret. So that's pretty much it in terms of um, the, uh, the things that you might not have known your car did. But there's also one other little Brucey bonus as well. Um, I think I'll probably turn the engine off for this one. So, is your key fob. Now, if you use your key fob, um, if you hold that button down, if you hold it down uh, whilst you're outside the car, it unlocks the car and it also puts all the windows down at the same time. So hold it down. And then look, all the windows drop. So you can make all the windows drop, it's nice and cool now. And then if you lock it again, Holds everything, hold the buttons down, just holding that one down. And it shuts all the windows for you as well, which is great. Um, and just finally, if I can spin this around so you can see, 
it's the last little thing in here. If you click open this bit here, you'll see you've got a little metal key in here. That's your spare key. So if you ever get locked out of your rangey and the battery's flat, you get a little key in here and you can prise open uh, the little plastic thing on the, the door handle and still get in to your car. And then that just folds back there closed again. So I hope this has been useful and thanks very much for watching. If you did, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.